We have to engage the political process somehow. We have to engage the political process somehow. Yeah, I don't subscribe to the son of Yemenaj. I'm Sufi, Ashari, Azhari. I have a question, a question here. Is it Islamically correct to vote for the person or party who approves of something that we don't agree with? So is it okay to vote for a candidate that we don't agree with? Is it okay to not vote at all? We need to engage the political process. We need to engage the political process. Then you should also be able to give money to political parties who in certain areas are going to defend your rights and look after you. We have to engage the political process somehow. Many of the ulama who used to be completely against it are now all for it. What does that mean? Am I telling you you need to vote for a particular candidate? No, I'm saying you need to engage the political process as Muslims. The reason why we're such a political liability and people do whatever they want with us is because of our hesitancy to engage the political process despite our numbers. And how do you engage a political process? You don't start with the president. You start with the board of education. You start with the local councilmen. You start with the people on a local level, establishing those ties. That's how you engage the political process, and then you move, for, you, you move forward, and then inshallah ta'ala we can talk about the bigger issues and things of that sort. But don't tell me that you're not going to endorse any candidate that's pro-Israeli. <laughs> Look at the greater good of things. I'm Palestinian, it hurts me more than anything else. I've lost people in that conflict. But at the same time, I'm not going to blind myself and say, I'm going to wait until someone comes uh, that's going to say, you know, all for Palestine and who's going to uh, sing Heya Heya you know, or something like that. I'm not going to wait for that to happen. We need to engage the political process. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not haram. I think we should as a community actively engage the political process somehow so that politicians cannot make us, you know, cannot say what they want and, and harm the Muslim community without having to pay the price. Even if that means voting for a Republican against another Republican in the Republican primary because he's not saying Islamophobic things. We're gonna, we need to make sure that the one who goes out there and runs his mouth about us and about our civil rights pays the price for that. We need to take our frustrations and engage the political process and somehow. Wallahu ta'ala alam. And just to add to that two things. Number one. I'm Sufi. Ash'ari. Azhari. Is that the idea that until the modern age politics was always about a perfect leader. And that the discussion now is, you know, if I vote for, a, you know, say, you know, Mr. Hussein Obama. Uh, or I vote for Romney. <laughs> or anyone. Like then, I didn't, I'm not saying anything. Number two is the idea of even giving money to political parties. Then you should also be able to give money to political parties who in certain areas are going to defend your rights and look after you in certain areas that they might not. And I thought this was actually a brilliant fatwa, uh, by the way.